is their coach. And when you think about that extra spot at the Olympics, this is a name that comes up. It, it absolutely does because of this event right here. He had a phenomenal day two bars at the U.S. Championships. Scored a 15.1. Has to make those connections. Now some might think that it's a little easier focusing on one event, but the amount of pressure that you feel when you are only competing one event is just so much greater. Oh boy! Oh, there you go. That was that was aggressive right there. I didn't think she was going to go. She looked a little off. She does have an injured foot. Told me she landed this in warm-ups, and she does it again. Loves her situation. Is so happy now in Phoenix and training with Brian Carey. And her and Jade Carey have become so close as competitors. That's a beautiful routine. Just great combination. This, I didn't think she was going to go for that. Sometimes she doesn't, but she gets those extra points because she puts all of them together. Here's that dismount. So from an invert position, she does a double front with a half turn. Beautiful form. And spots the ground right there. And this is a change that they made when they went to Arizona and Brian, she did a different dismount that always was a little sketchy. It was a very really good change. With that. Yeah. So she waits for the number. When you think about that individual spot, she is definitely in the mix. But so is Michaela Skinner, the 24-year-old from Utah, now back to the elite level and on vault. This is what she did earlier. Super powerful athlete. Oh, wow. And you know, I think each competition this season, she has just gotten strong. Not being satisfied with what she did in Rio, but taking it to the next level. The difficulty that she has added incredible since then. And well, speaking it, of difficulty, we saw her do in training a full balance beam routine and her move that bears her name, the dismount, double twisting, double somersault. There was a lot of controversy over this. The FIG, which is the governing body of sport, basically devalued that skill. It didn't get the correct value. Simone did it to get it named after her. Didn't know if we'd ever see it again, though. Alan Cusker, 14.8, the number for uneven bars. And that one's a little lower than uh, I thought yeah. it was going to be. Yeah. Attempt here.